this trade payables turnover when used as denominator to divide the number of working days in a year in this problem we assume to be 360 days would give us the average age of trade payables of 101 days the average age of trade payables indicates the average number of days during which trade payables remain unpaid. It is also known as conversion period for trade payables or more simply average payment period. In other words, for Elizabeth Tailoring Materials Store, it takes an average of 101 days from the time of the purchase of merchandise on account before payment is made to supplier. For this ratio to be meaningful, it must be compared with the credit period extended to the entity. For example, if the entity is provided by suppliers 90 days during which to pay its trade payables, having 101 days as the average age of trade payables means that this ratio is not good because the entity actually pays beyond the credit period of 90 days. The entity pays its trade payables late, which most likely will damage its reputation with its suppliers. In some textbooks, another formula is used to compute the average age of trade payables. And that is trade payables divided by the average net credit purchases per day. The trade payables of the entity at the end of 2022 consisted of its accounts payable of 630,000 pesos and trade notes payable amounting to 400,000 pesos while its net credit purchases amounted to 3.8 million pesos. Let's place those figures in our second formula. Notice, however, that what we need as denominator is the average net credit purchases per day, not this net credit purchases for the entire year 2022. And therefore, we must divide this amount by 360 days to get the daily average. 630,000 plus 400,000 equals 1,030,000. 3,800,000 divided by 360 equals 10,555.56. 1,030,000 divided by 10,555.56 gives us 98 days as the average age of trade payables. This figure, however, is not exactly the same as the 101 days we arrived at using this first formula. But still, both formulas and both answers are acceptable. There are a number of reasons why the answers may differ. For one, in this first formula, we use the trade payables turnover, which is based on average trade payables. While in the second formula, the ending balance, not the average, but the ending balance of the trade payables is used. 